Breaking news tonight as the effort to remove the tree sitters blocking the path of the Mountain Valley Pipeline in Montgomery County continues. Yeah, we have just learned that police have paused their work for the evening. They did remove one person earlier today, but one still remains. 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer is live tonight at the police roadblock there along Route 460 in Elliston. Now, Shane, police aren't going anywhere despite this pause? Yeah, John and Brittany, as you can see behind me here, police still have their lockdown set up here of this area, and they say that they will be pushing this into day two tomorrow morning at this point. Now, again, this forceful removal began this morning at sum up as the blockade entered day 931. Now, police were able to get one of the tree sitters out. That's this woman, Claire Fioco of Vermont. She's charged with interfering with property rights and is being held without bail. Now, Fioco said in a statement in part tonight, with my arrest and Acres probable extraction, this one instance of resistance, this one physical place that is our enactment of our dreams of another world will fall. Now, the public, including us, the media, have been locked out of the space. The local officials, including Delegate Sam Razul, have been allowed in to observe as the crews use cr a crane to try to extract these people out of the trees. He's been a fierce opponent of the pipeline and wanted to make sure that everyone would be safe. As a public servant wanting to make sure uh, that I'm able to report back to, to people what has happened. Uh, obviously, this is an unprecedented um, action here. Uh, someone being up in the in these trees for, for a couple of years in this act uh, to, to try to prevent these, these lands from being taken away. Now, the crane work stopped at sunset, but again, this area will be on lockdown until this is all over. The Montgomery County Sheriff's Office says negotiations will begin again tomorrow morning, and the removal effort has been going in some form or fashion since a court injunction was filed last now. Back out with us live here. Uh, Fioco was tied to the tree with some sort of lock device. Police say that they had to cut through that lock device to get her out of the tree and then get her down on the ground. Once she was down on the ground, medical personnel did check her out and she is reported to be injury free. Live in Montgomery County, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you. Now this tree sit has been going on for more than two years and a yellow a Mountain Valley Pipeline spokesperson released a statement about the extractions that reads in part, while we respect the opinions of those opposed to MVP and to natural gas pipelines in general, there is no excuse for the unlawful actions taken by these activists. You can see their entire statement at WSLS.com.